This company took advantage of consumers who were desiring to start an online business, basically get involved in e-commerce. The FTC complaint against Vision Solution Marketing, uh, they defrauded people out of $8.4 million in regards to selling them uh, services, coaching services, to help them start their business. The organization did not do paperwork. They were supposed to provide counseling to help the de- business owner, proposed business owner, to do the things necessary to start an online business. But it was all a fraud. The Federal Trade Commission has many warnings, and it's always good to search on the Federal Trade Commission's website if you desire to start some type of work-from-home business, like an e-commerce site or work-from-home. They have a lot of information. If you go to the FTC's website and just search on work from home it will provide you wonderful information it will let you know about various scams things that are real and things that are not so I just encourage you as you listen to this video and maybe you were one of the people defrauded from this vision marketing solution company don't give up on your desire but seek out the right way to do it Vision Solutions Marketing basically just took people's money. They were in the District of Utah, and after the Federal Trade Commission uh, put them in, uh, how can I say, in a complaint format where they were ordered to cease and desist, basically they couldn't do business anymore. But under the terms of the settlement regarding their purported business coaching or development service, they could no longer do that type of work ever again they've been completely banned and this was a court case that was done in the district of utah and at the end of the decision they have been ordered to turn over all the funds remaining in their accounts to the federal trade commission so that some kind of uh... refunds can be made to those whom they defrauded the defendants in this case unfortunately uh, use the desire for people to make large sums of money very rapidly and unfortunately that's not true so they sold people these so-called products these coaching services and and related services for tens of thousands of dollars with the promise that they would make thousands of dollars a month online and this turned out to be not true and this is one of the things the Federal Trade Commission warns against in fraud is that this type of thing is not true and uh, you need to have them provide you with actual financial statements proving that that type of investment will have that kind of return now this is one of the things uh, that these scammers were selling people over the phone they would tell them that the program that they would purchase was ten thousand dollars with the claim that they would make three to five thousand dollars a month that it was supposed to be foolproof and the way it was designed it just literally could not fail so this as we know is not true businesses fail every day and that's why it's so important for us who are seeking to work from home to do our due diligence to make sure that what they're selling is actually viable and the Federal Trade Commission has all of that information on their website unfortunately the consumers who purchased this didn't end up with anything uh, any businesses or anything and as it says here on the screen I highlighted in red most of them just basically for ten thousand dollars and even more all they basically had was just learn how to uh, put products on websites like eBay that was all they got for all of that investment and in the end they had no businesses they earned little or no money and ended up heavily in debt after selling uh, nothing and then having spent all of that money for their programs that actually did not work
an additional technique the scammers used was after you had purchased one of these ten thousand dollar programs from them and even though it's not working you're not making any money they would come back with these high pressure sales tactics to get you to buy other development programs with these false claims that they had special access to lenders who could provide consumers with corporate credit for which they would not be personally liable now that in itself is is a red flag if you're if you have a corporation yes personally you cannot be sued for the debts of the corporation but you might want to make sure that these that the proper paperwork has been filed and why would you want to do something uh that someone is offering you to do that sounds somewhat uh unethical so that would be a red flag As it turns out, instead of a corporate account where you would have monies through a business, the consumers who purchased that plan only received more sales calls from companies selling personal credit cards. And the salesman claimed that you would, in three to four weeks, get the corporate credit line which did not materialize it was all just a scam so the poor consumer was now stuck with this additional personal credit card debt that he is now liable for this is the breakdown on how the judgments went from the court in utah the one settlement was 8.4 million and this was through those uh, companies that the defendants had started and then they came back with a judgment against the defendants and the other corporations that they had set up to falsely defraud people out of money. So it was uh, very good. The first judgment was $8.4 million. The second judgment was imposed was $6.75 million. That lets you know that they had defrauded the consumers out of enormous amounts of money. In 2014, the Federal Trade Commission had put the defendants under a prohibition from being able to do their coaching and development services. That was like a temporary injunction. And they operated their business out of the area around Salt Lake City, Utah. Well, in May 2018, the FTC filed its complaint and the defendants uh, against the defendants and stipulated to temporary restraining orders that were entered by the court now those prohibitions are permanent so basically the temporary restraining orders became permanent in 2018 so they can never practice this type of business ever again as I said in the very beginning uh, that these defendants had acquired this information from a list well the list that these defendants used were from people companies that the Federal Trade Commission had prosecuted for basically fraud. Same thing that they were doing in the coaching stuff. So the cases were settled in 2018 and 2017. One was in Nevada and one was in the District of Texas. So these crooks went to other crooks who were defrauding consumers to get their list of contacts and they in turn contacted people who were already taken advantage of and offered them something that was not legal or even viable it it was just so sad for what happened to the consumers this is the contact information if you were part of one of the people who were scammed by this company and I put this little image here it's just wonderful to see the FTC fighting for consumers in our country and winning you know so many times we go with no defense in certain types of situations but it's wonderful to know that if we turn those complaints in it makes these types of cases possible if the community will go to the FTC's website and file complaints against uh, companies that have fraudulent types of behavior that helps make the case to put them out of business so now it's a wonderful thing to know that this company 
Vision Solution Marketing is no longer in business nor any of their subsidiaries in that the Federal Trade Commission has once again been able to get some of the monies back that consumers were defrauded out of. So I thank you again for visiting my channel and have a great day.